shut up and sit down. Hi guys and welcome to a Thursday's tutorial. Um, this is uh, how to paint a fire raptor, ultramarines colours. Um, firstly we've uh, built the kit and we've primed it black with Vallejo black primer as per usual. And my favourite highlight colour for doing a pre-highlight is Wolf Grey by Game Air, which is a really useful colour uh, for this. Um, if you don't have an airbrush, you can do this by hand guys, you can just use bigger brushes, it's not really any issue. You could just dry brush these edges if you don't have an um, airbrush, and then water down your McCrag Blue and paint over that with a large brush, just don't let it pull. Several washes of that, that'll come out pretty much the same sort of thing, take a bit longer. So obviously like I'm saying, this is McCrag Blue, and I'm going to cover the entirety of this model at this point. Um, it's really watered down as you can see, so I want the wolf grey and the black to sort of show through there so the blue is lighter where the wolf grey is. That's basically all that the pre-highlighting or pre-shading is. You could have done it the other way, done it like um, grey first then sprayed in the black. Now I'm using Liquid Silver by Vallejo. Uh, remember guys, you can't mix water into this, you have to use Surgical Spirit can buy from super drug or boots or somewhere I'm not sure where you'd buy it from in America probably some chemist somewhere and that's uh, like 96% alcohol so that does the job and again this is another liquid uh, metallic range this is the copper one you can just see how smooth that goes on there compared to others um, highly recommend it we've been using them in the studio for a while now and we've really like really been enjoying using them we'll probably get the rest of the range I think they've got about 12 different colours and they mix with each other as well so instead of mixing with your games workshop paints or anything else you can mix those up together and they dry rather quickly but for what I'm doing I'm going to have to let them dry a bit longer and this is just Vallejo black primer again uh, for the Aquilas because we're going to paint those with metallics but we're not going to use the liquid metallics on these because uh, the guy that this is for he's got a very specific paint scheme and that's what we're following and that noise in the background that you can hear is uh, Leon um, his YouTube channel is connected to ours check out his channel it's Leon coming in asking for some commission work to be done it's a super secret project he's got us working on this is a uh, Balthazar gold over the Vallejo black and then we're gonna let that dry then to tone down the liquid silvers that we've done we're using null oil, which we're running out of, we've got plenty of that now, but um, it's the best thing to tone down the silver because it's extremely bright. You can try and tone it down with other colours, but what that tends to do is act as a filter, and even Agrax starts to go a bit bright orange, or Reclam Flesh Shade goes a bit reddish orange, and it doesn't actually tone down the um, brightness of it, it just changes the colour. Now, um, I was going to do a whole section here on how to do the cockpit, but uh, the lighting's just really hard to get, and so is the camera angle. So basically just uh, watered down lead belcher, did a couple of coats of that. Then we highlight the buttons and everything else with different reds, greens and blues. Just whatever colours you really want. Then Agrax Earthshade with a wash brush by Games Workshop to go over the copper. Making sure you go over the outside edge where, where the copper meets the silver you want to make sure you get the inside of that as well otherwise you'll have this really bright silver coming through and if you don't let your liquid gold dry enough what will happen when you put a wash on is small pigment will end up pooling up where your wash should be leaving a bright line so you want to make sure you wash those really thoroughly and let them dry properly and missiles we use the German red primer uh, we're going to come back to those later and just highlight them up to the edges so they're a much brighter red. But I wanted to cover the blue and the primer's a great paint for that, you know, straight on, give the paint something to grip to. Now he's doing ultramarines and I, he asked if I could do a, a stripe like the command stripes down the ball turrets. We have a video of these being magnetised by the way, that's why they've got no guns on them. That'll be coming out soon. And this again is the German red primer. I'm not going to cover the entirety of this um, ball turret 
make sure that you get it the right way around. You can cover the entirety of it if you're using a brush. That's not going to hurt at all. Then German yellow as a primer through the airbrush. And again, if you're using the brush, just a really soft dry brush or soft makeup brush and back and forth over the top there to highlight that. And this is going to act as our pre-highlight and it's an odd colour to use, but you've seen me use it before quite a few times. Uh, it gives a really nice red. So just going to highlight the top areas where the light would hit the most. Then this is Model Air Red. That's this entire title. I think it's 71.102. And um, I'm going to lightly mist all over that. Still, you can do that with a brush. You just water it down and glaze it over. And what that does is it <coughs> connects the black to the red and the yellow and then it blends all those together that's why I'm using the airbrush it blends all three colors together including the black and this is just me showing you that um, he wanted the ultramarines theme going on so even though this guy is a tech marine um, he's going to have the blue ultramarines shoulder pad on the right hand side so that's my crag blue again now good old Tamiya tape to block off the sides and I'm going to be doing a white color so to stop the red leaking through, making it pink, I'm going to reprime the center stripe black with Vallejo Black Primer. Then we're going to use good old Wolf Grey by Game Air. You can see it just uh, comes through the airbrush really well and surprisingly covers the black quite well. See, when, when you've Tamiya taped something off, you need to remember where your highlights are. But luckily in this case, I can see uh, through the sides under the Tamiya tape where the highlights are. So we're going to build that up and then an off-white was used but the exposure on this camera is really not showing that through at all um, it just looks like a mass of white but what I'm doing is just going back and forth lightly and again you could dry brush or glaze this up if you're using a brush or just straight up put the Tamiya tape on paint it white with a white primer and like as you can see um, relatively straight lines all the way through there not, not too concerned about those uh, gaps having white in them because we're going to give it an oil wash later and that's going to get blacked out. Now we're going to prime the metallic parts because we've got a white base so we're going to prime it black with Vallejo Black Primer and use Lead Belcher. Because uh, if you painted Lead Belcher over the white, the white would show through and you don't want to layer up too many layers of the uh, Lead Belcher because it gets a bit thick. We're also going to use Lead Belcher on the other guns. But I uh, painted the main gun black here because I needed to break up those reds. It's one of the things with the kit, you spend a lot of time painting it, but you spend the rest of the time trying to figure out how you're going to break up the colours. This is Hash Hammered Copper by Game Colour and Brass by Game Colour 50-50 mix the ends of the auto cannons which uh, may seem like a bit of a bright color but as always we're going to wash that down with Agrax Earth Shade weather it up a bit not gone over the top with the weathering on this one um, it's, rel it's a relatively new fire raptor from the factory so that's what he wanted and other details I switched to the other classic metallic which was warp block bronze just to uh, break up some of those silvers a bit, make some of the components stand out, just give it an extra bit of detail. You don't have to, you could just do the silver if you wanted to. Then we're going to apply Agrat Fur Shade and the little cylinder bit near the end of the gun was also done in warp block bronze and so were the back parts. So then what we're going to do is stick on this Agrat Fur Shade. We're also going to null oil the metallic parts. Edge highlight in this red that we've been doing, it's um, Wasdaka Red. Now to do a dual edge highlight on this, use Wasdaka Red and about 40% mix with Reclam Flesh Shade. And that um, doesn't make the colour pink, but it acts as a um, pretty good highlight regardless. I can't remember the 
a word to describe the colour change there. Mephiston Red was then watered down a lot to almost a wash and used to glaze and build up the colours on the end of the rockets. That'll take about two to three layers to get that looking smooth. Obviously with Agrax Earth Shaded, the um, Balthazar Gold, now we're using Gehenna's Gold to go over the high points on it. You only really want to go over the high points, so when it comes to the feathers on the Aquila, you can just um, dry brush it, and then we went over it again with the dry brusher of Rune Lord Steel, but that bit of footage is uh, missing. And then it's not ghost grey, no it is ghost grey by game colour, was then used to break up the blue even more, and this was watered down, it took like three or four layers to make sure the blue wasn't leaking through. And then we put the decals on, and a little bit of weathering with the airbrush to uh, really bring it together, and make it look like an actual machine, that's uh, add some action. And that's all we've got time for in this video, so like, comment, subscribe, uh, remember to share with your friends. If you want one yourself, follow that eBay link, and catch you in the next one guys. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope this video helped.